Hey boos, in this video, I give commentary based on my opinion. Nothing is to be taken as factual. We are just here to have conversation. We don't expose and we don't sip tea on this channel. I'm giving you real talk straight, no chaser. Let's see if you can handle it. Oh, hell no. Hi guys, it's Yanni and I'm back with another video. So in today's video, I wanted to react to Tony Gaston here on YouTube. He is a mentor. He does a ton of videos that are super helpful to the everyday woman who is out here dating, who may be in a relationship, or in some cases, marriage. So I wanted to react to this video that he did. It's titled, A Man in His Mind Tricks. With me dating on several occasions, I have encountered males that like to play mind games. They like to play mind tricks on you to basically kind of like tamper with your intuition. Your intuition is something that you feel, it's not something that you see, and your intuition can also guide you to the truth. It may put you at a stoplight, because this happened to me. It may put you at a stoplight and you may see the guy that you're in a relationship with, a guy that you may be dating, driving in the car with another woman. Sometimes your intuition will guide you to the truth about a man that you may be dating seeing or whatever the case may be that situation definitely happened to me another example of your intuition guiding you to see the truth when it comes to certain men males i'll never forget one time this guy accidentally butt dialed facetime me or whatever i don't even know what he did i don't know if his bluetooth accidentally dialed me or what but he accidentally dialed me and he was in the car and I could see him in the car and he had another woman in the car with him. So that was one incident that I experienced. So like your intuition will guide you to the truth. Like if you feel like a man is being, a male is being dishonest with you, most likely it's because it's true, you know, and then if you ask God and if you ask the universe to reveal the truth to you, he will. You have to give it time. But when you see the truth for what it is, you can't allow a man to manipulate you, play mind games with you, and trick you into believing what you saw wasn't real. And it will honestly play on your mind and it will make you insane and it will drive you absolutely crazy. So once you ask God to reveal whatever needs to be revealed to you, whether it's dishonesty, whether it's, I don't know, it could be anything. Allow it to happen, but believe it when you see it. Don't deny it and don't allow a man to manipulate you into thinking that what you saw wasn't what you saw. When we all know what you saw was real. So let's get into this video. Talking about the mind tricks that men play and I want to express this because it really breaks down relationships and it hinders us from our greatness in a relationship and almost every man does it for a period of time in his grown boy stage and so it's kind of playing off of the video I did talking about you know why men like to control and you have to really think about this and you got to understand this because what a man will do is he will make you feel crazy he will make you feel insecure he will ask you open-ended questions he'll corner you and have you apologizing for something he did wrong this has happened he'll to me flip the script on you and have you crying when he hurt you and ha but have you crying out of remorse and apologizing to him for having feelings for having an intuition for knowing what you know and not being crazy See, he'll have you apologizing to him and so you got to be mindful of this now and you got to pay attention to this because 
this right here, it, it'll catch you off guard. And it, it really plays into a woman's desperation because typically desperate women fall for the mind tricks that men play. And so a man can, you, you can see a message pop up on a man phone and it's a woman name. And you can ask him, hey, what's going on now? I saw the message pop up. I never look at the phone, but it's a lady name over there. And the next thing you know, he will have you feeling crazy because he, oh, wow. Wow. So you looking at my phone and you like, well, the phone sitting right here between us, like right here beside it, it popped up. It, lit up on the screen i just was looking over there like, wow you have daddy issues oh my goodness that <sighs> never mind i forgot your daddy wasn't in the home that's why so okay did you ever think that that could be my cousin i have female cousins and then you you like well it says Hey, boo. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Halloween coming up. Are you that insecure? That's just how my cousin and I talk. It's like, what's up? And the reason why she did it is because she know women like you insecure. And now, look at her. She told me to watch out for y'all. And it hit. Now you questioning me. So the next thing you know, you kind of like, you know, that big swallow where you can see. Oh, y'all ain't got an album. You see that right there in your neck, softy, and you start to feel stupid. Like, man, you know what? Man, that is not attractive. I, I am insecure. And now you starting to think about your ex and what he did to you, and how he got you insecure. When you literally just watched another woman text your quote unquote man, text your single boyfriend, hey boo. And now you blaming yourself. Next thing, you sitting over that night, you on my mentor dot life. <laughs> I heard that Tony guys talking about that my mentor dot life. Let me book a session because I'm I'm just losing it. I am too insecure. Now you all on my mentor dot life booking a session because you caught your boyfriend, your single boyfriend getting a text from another woman and he flipped it on you just like that and made you feel crazy. Now you feeling crazy. Now you feeling insecure. Now you feeling weak. Now you blaming your daddy with him. He blaming you. Now you believe you blaming your daddy. You see what I mean? So you have to think about this and the reason why a man does this and when I say a man I'm talking about a grown boy the reason why he does this is because it creates more insecurity and with this insecurity what happens is it makes you indebted to him it makes you start to seek his approval you know just like a little puppy you start to seek his approval Okay, okay. It's, it's, hey, is this confident enough? All right. I, okay, I see you looking at another woman. Okay, I'm just going to look over here like I don't see it. You breaking your neck. Go, go get the neck. Trying not to catch him looking at that other woman booty. You twitching because he didn't broke you down and got you feeling so insecure, so lost, so weak, so desperate. Because he took your intuition, which was spot on, and made you feel crazy. You watch him lock eyes with that woman and undress her with his eyes. And then you allow him to convince you that you insecure. <laughs> okay, so story time. That has definitely happened to me. Um, you know, 
an example would be you guys know i'm very open i am big on just being honest and straightforward i'll never forget one time there was this guy that i was dating in like i caught him red handed of being in a bold face lie and he gaslighted me so bad and in the moment i knew he was trying to manipulate me but i just allowed him to talk to see how far he would take it but the whole time inside i'm just like wow like he's really trying to manipulate me right now and and really when it comes to the mind games that some of these males like to play it, it's really all about control like it's all about him feeling like he has this control over you to basically do what he wants you to do in a very mind plain manipulative type of way and so after a while the first few times i would i would apologize for something that i felt like i i didn't even do i didn't feel like i did anything wrong but i would apologize and i didn't even know why because i'm like dang like how is it that my feelings got hurt how is it that i felt like i was disrespected but i'm apologizing and after a while i started to catch on i'm like dang like this is a man that never takes accountability i'll never hear him say you know what i messed up i did this wrong it was like this constant pattern of he never did anything wrong he would gaslight me when he was caught lying and he would try to manipulate me and the, his famous thing that he would do is if we got into an argument or disagreement about him basically lying or being caught red-handed for something that he did because my intuition was guiding me to the truth somehow it would be about my father it would, all, it would always be about my father my father my father oh you got daddy issues you need to work out your relationship with your father but the thing that was manipulative was the fact that i had confined in him before he started to do these manipulative controlling um, impulsive tactics against me it was going to take time to really get rid of all of my daddy issues but it was definitely something that I had acknowledged that I had taken accountability for but I never felt like they were bleeding into our friendship relationship so it just seems like every time that he was in the wrong or he was caught in the wrong he would love to bring those daddy issues up to me um, like he would say oh therapy ain't working for you and he would like say some very very like manipulative hurtful things to where i would end up apologizing but after a while i kind of caught on to his game and i'm like wow so one time i just wanted to see how far he would take it and the lengths that this man took to manipulate me and lie to me and to sell a lie was like the most scariest thing i think i've ever witnessed in my entire life so when it comes to some of these men out here males out here they like to play mind tricks on you they like to manipulate you they like to gaslight you but you have to be mentally strong enough and this is why i'm telling you guys you know when you're single while you're single enjoy that enjoy that part of your life because you need to build yourself up to prepare for the dating scene because when it comes to the dating scene men are going to try things on you just to see if they can get away with it and if you don't put your foot down the first time they try it with you they're just gonna keep trying it and trying it and trying it i'll never forget one of my friends on instagram was like you allow a man to slide one time and he will start ice skating that is like the best way to explain how some of these males are and so when you're in your singleness season really focus on building up your self-confidence your self-esteem your self-worth carry yourself as high maintenance and when i say high maintenance i'm truly speaking from a place of okay i'm carrying myself in a way where i think highly of myself i love myself i have this strong sense of self-love at the end of the day if it doesn't work out with this guy this guy this guy i still have myself i'm still whole within myself and i can still come back to myself and love on me and i don't have to be codependent on him when it comes to this entire experience like when you do decide to get out here on the dating scene this is something that you're up against 
and you have to be prepared for it. You need to start educating yourself on the different ways that men like to play games, manipulate. And it's really the Dusties, it's, it's really the men that walk around heartbroken, broken, they didn't heal themselves, they're hurt. And really what they do is they go from one woman to the next. They're literally sucking all of their energy out to heal themselves. They're going to the next woman, sucking out all their energy to heal themselves. And they're sucking out this woman over here to heal themselves. And that's how they heal. But in the process, look at all the women they broke to heal. So you have to be very mindful that you're not getting wrapped up in a man that talks about his ex a lot. Because if he's still talking about his ex while dealing with you, he's not over it. He still needs time to heal. If he's even talking about a girl that he just got done dealing with, he's not over her. He still needs time to heal. Anytime a man brings up his ex, it's a red flag. Every single time, it's a red flag. You need to walk away from the situation because he hasn't healed from that situation. He's going to use you to heal, which could possibly leave you broken. It's not your job as a woman to heal a man. It's his job. He has to seek healing for himself and it's not up to us you know so and you don't deserve to be broken in the process of healing a man it just doesn't work that way it's not supposed to work that way so that's all that i have regarding this video you guys i would love your thoughts and opinions so make sure you comment them down below and if you're new here subscribe this is real with yanni and i'll catch you guys in my next video